Welcome into Radio Row for Super Bowl 52. Courtney Cox now joined by former Patriot Hall of Famer Mike Haynes. Mike, crazy time for the Patriots franchise right now. Yeah, it is. Um, it's a fun time, you know, for them. Um, yeah, a lot of teams, uh, you would think it'd be a lot of pressure, but they've been here so many times. So many of their guys have been to multiple Super Bowls. Um, they, they know how to deal with this kind of a situation. So hopefully they're enjoying it, but because they're call, playing for Bill Belichick, they're going to wait until after it to really celebrate and enjoy it. And you were with the Pats for seven seasons, uh, so you know the franchise pretty well, I would yeah, say. Yeah. As a player, what's the best part about being a Patriot? I think the fans. You know, I think just being in New England, uh, they're the most educated fans I've found. Um, they really understand what's going on and what's at stake. Uh, I, I had not been around a lot of fans like that. It was When I was drafted there, it was um, amazing um, the questions that people would ask me, yeah. you know. Um, so it's, it's really great. I think um, it'll, it's a you know, place that loves history. Mm -hmm. And I think that the Patriots are the perfect team to be there, that their record and Robert Kraft's the perfect owner. Bill Belichick is the perfect coach. Tom Brady is the perfect quarterback to have a place like that where they're used to, like, say, great Celtic teams and, uh, you know, great uh, Red Sox teams. And so now great Patriots teams. I mean, it, it's really fantastic. And you won a Super Bowl with the Raiders. Uh, so for players this week, what's it like as a player? What's the mentality? Uh, this whole week is kind of a circus. Well, I think for, for them it's going to be different since they've been here so many times. But for me, I only played in one. Right. Uh, and so it was, and I never thought I'd play in another one, you know. And as a result of that, I, that's probably why I never played in another one, you know. Um, but it was a, a good experience. Uh, I hung out with a lot with the fans. Uh, it was the one time uh, of the year that when I went out to dinner, I went out to, you know, nightclubs with my teammates, there'd be a lot of fans there. Because mm -hmm. you know, before it'd be like camaraderie, things that we would do. No fans there, really, just us. But everybody's looking to see the players around town uh, and getting a chance to take pictures with them and talk to them about different things. It's a good time. But I think it'll be much more fun for the Patriot players knowing that Bill Belichick is the coach after the game. When they get back in New England and they're doing that and having a good time in Boston around the community, uh, that'll be the time when uh, people get a chance to see those guys in a real relaxed situation. Well, let's talk about something a little bit more serious. You are a cancer survivor, and yes. you are doing great work with Urology Care Foundation. Talk to me about that partnership and how it came to be. Well, it's a great partnership. The, uh, we do these screenings for uh, players, NFL players, uh, retired players, and I found out that I had prostate cancer really by attending one of those screenings. Uh, you can never really find out at a screening because all you can really do there is a blood test and a digital rectal exam. But the doctor there talked to me and asked me a lot of questions that I didn't know the answer to. I was too ignorant to know that, you know, at the time that prostate cancer ran in my family. Uh, but when he said at the time one in five African American men would be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime, that got my attention. Um, and unfortunately, the numbers are going the wrong way. The numbers are going up. Now it's one in six African American men. It was one in seven men, just men in general. Now it's one in nine men. So we're going the wrong direction, uh, and I don't know what the reason for that is, uh, but the thing that is the same is if you find out that you have prostate cancer in the early stages, it's treatable. If you wait until you have a symptom, it might be too late. Uh, and also, I think most men need to know that it's a slow-growing cancer, very slow. So you need to find out in those early stages when it's not very aggressive, and you could do something about it, and you're gonna be fine. Well, you're doing great work with them, uh, but for New England fans, we've got to ask, is Brady going to come home with his sixth? I'm sure hoping so. <laughs> you know, I'm pulling for that. Um, you know, I, uh, I, I root for two teams. I root for the Patriots and I root for the Raiders. Uh, and I, I feel really fortunate that both teams are in the AFC so that I can root for the AFC to always have the best conference and the best team uh, in the AFC gets to the Super Bowl. Uh, it's hard, hard for me to, to think that um, the Eagles are going to have a good game plan for Tom Brady because the team has been in this situation so many times. What could they possibly do that he has never seen before? As long as he's able to stay calm and collective, the Patriots are going to come home with a big win. All right, and for my personal use, uh, a BC grad, your son is a freshman football player at BC. Yeah. How are you liking that so far, getting to go up to New England uh, for your son? Well, I like it. You know, one, I get a chance to see a lot of my old teammates. Uh, uh, I get a chance to, like, this past season, I went out to the Patriots uh, practice field 
uh, watched them practice. They inducted one of my old teammates in the Patriot Hall of Fame, uh, Raymond Claiborne. Mm -hmm. uh, and my son came down from BC and I got a chance to for him to meet with the coach and a lot of the players is a great it's great so i think i'll be coming back a lot more yeah um and i can see that my son is going to have a connection to the city too so for, maybe for the rest of my life uh i'll be coming back at least 10 times a year well we hope to see you a lot more uh, up in new england but thanks for taking the time to talk with us thank you